Hey, Sammy Sam, welcome to my hot dog party. Got eight buns here, eight dogs, a bunch of toppings. I'm sorry if the uh, dance music in the background is a little bit jarring, or the fact that you can hear Joe Biden in the background giving a speech over it, but I have an interesting want-to-be DJ neighbor who likes to play dance beats underneath political speeches because I think he thinks he's doing a public service. I also think he's um, high on meth or crack for a lot of the day, and he'll just blast music for like eight hours straight. And he started right when I set up to record. Cool. But we're still gonna have fun. We're celebrating summer. So we've got hot dogs. And the best thing about a hot dog party, a real great chance for me to clean out my fridge a little bit because I got all these extra dancing to toppings. We're gonna get a little bit non-conventional non-conventionable we're gonna get a little bit non-conventional but it's gonna be a lot of bit delicious let's start out here this is mashed potatoes and gravy from yes kfc i wanted to try this i thought this would be a good topping mix you know i think this needs making a mess already a little bit of onions on there too i don't know if that looks delicious but it smells delicious Mm -hmm. This is my first hot dog outside of corn dogs since last summer, I think. And this hot sloppy meat just fills my mouth with joy. I'm using Nathan's hot dogs cooked in the pan. I got the Martin's potato roll. Really goes well with the gravy. Onion, of course, classic condiment. Got a little bit of crunch. God, I forgot how much I love hot dogs. I'm going to be eating hot dogs all summer long now. I remember last summer I was doing like hot dog pizza video. I did hot dog egg rolls. I did 15 million different types of, you know, hot dog toppings. Speaking of, I got this Cajun sauce that I made. It's left over from having um, crab, crab burgers, if you saw that video. And the... Some crotch on the inside to get there. And this sauce is just like mayonnaise, um, hot sauce, sour cream, green onion, garlic, and everybody's favorite Cajun spice, Old Bay. Mmm. -hmm. That's actually amazing. Uh, this is like a new hot dog staple. Cajun sauce hot dog for the win. And what like a perfect celebration of summer today. Today is um first real warm, even hot day here in Brooklyn. I think it's supposed to get up to like 81 degrees this afternoon. Oh, it's a spicy sauce. You guys probably won't see this video till a week or more after I filmed it because somebody may have knocked over a drink on their main work computer and it's off getting repaired slash probably having the whole logic board replaced. But hey, that's why we get Apple Care Plus, so not actually that big of a deal. Just have to wait. Here we have another custom sauce I made. This is my homemade... Um, why do I want to say hollandaise? It's not hollandaise. Caesar dressing. I love making Caesar dressing from scratch. 
you know, the main components of seafood dressing, like oil, eggs, garlic, smashed up uh, anchovies, and parm. And that's about it. I should have got some croutons to put on top of this, too. It would have been a whole thing. Mm. The fishiness. The garlic. That may sound bad in hindsight to a lot of people, but to me, I love it. It has like a sharp tanginess to it. And eight hot dogs like looks like a lot. We get into it, damn, hot dogs are small. The biggest part is all bun. We have classic hot dog relish. I'm a big fan of this. Let's just have a classic dog here. Y'all probably notice I ain't got no ketchup out. I'm not a huge ketchup fan. Too sweet for me. Mmm. The vinegariness of this. Perfect balance, perfection for a, a fatty, fatty dog. I can't wait this summer to like go back down to the actual original Nathan's. Get myself a big box of hot dogs and go out to the beach. Or go down to the boardwalk and get like a, a margarita or something. Just relax, listen to the waves. Listen to the people screaming on the roller coasters. And it's all going to be possible soon. I got my vaccine appointment tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. Of course, that's just a dose of one, but we'll get there. Let's do an onion dog with some cheese sauce here. Oh, that's gloopy. Tell you know it's good. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a good cheddar dog. Y'all know with Sammy Boy, the first bite is never for you. It's all for me, baby. I think we need to do a little mix and match on our next one. We're going to go deluxe. Mashed potato and gravy. Mustard. Onion. And cheese. Oh, this is a big honker. Everybody else is honking big sausage. <laughs> the onion just went up my nose.
I gotta have another one of these Cajun style. It's so good. Now, what's your guys' like favorite type of uh, hot dogs? I know there's like so many different versions. Every single city has their signature dog. I'm a big fan of Chicago. I keep getting told there's like a Portuguese dog or something I need to try. Of course, just simple mustard. It's amazing. And bacon cheese dog. At Nathan's, you used to be able to get a uh, peppers and onion dog, and that was one of my favorites. And also, it was nice because it was one of the lower calories on the menu. But I don't think they sold much of it, so they stopped offering it. I guess it didn't make sense for them to keep cooking all the peppers. You can ask for added onions, though, and just get like a plain one with sauteed onions on top. That's pretty good. Last but not least, let's have another of our Caesar salad dressing one. Because that Asian sauce is so spicy. It's getting me. Lord, I need a drink. Mm. Much better. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to your summer. Sorry about the Joe Biden dance music in the background, but... Nothing I can do about it. I knocked on that guy's door once after he'd been playing music for like four or five hours and uh, he obviously didn't come to the door. I think like he knows that he's a bad neighbor. He just doesn't care. So I love you. Love you guys. Bye.